Hello all, I am Dr. Prabhat Sanjanbal. In today's class, we'll discuss about uh, some examples, just like uh, how to uh, construct a regular expression from finite automata using Arrange theorem. Using Arrange theorem means uh, we'll use Arrange theorem to convert the finite automata to a regular expression, okay? So see here. Construct the regular expression from the given finite automata using Arrange theorem. Okay. So this is one of the given, but uh, this is given finite automata. Now we'll construct the regular expression. So first we'll say, what is the meaning of Arrange theorem? We have already discussed about the Arrange theorem and its proof in the previous class. Okay. So Arrange theorem means, suppose if P and Q, P and Q are two regular expressions, are two regular expressions, and P does not epsilon. P does not contain any epsilon, or P is not equal to epsilon. Then the equation what R equals to Q plus R P. The equation R equals to Q plus R P. What is the solution of the given equation? The solution is what? The solution is R Q P star. This is the solution. Okay. P and Q are two regular expressions and P does not contain any epsilon. Then the equation what R equals to Q plus R P. What is the solution of the given equation? R equals to Q P star. Okay. So say. First, first we will find the equation. First, we'll find the equation. How to find the equation? Just see the first equation. Here, in the given finite automata, in the given finite automata, there are two states. There are two states, what? Q0 and Q1. Since there are two states, since there are two states, so there are two equations in the given finite automata. Since there are two states, that means, since there are two states, that means there are two equations from the given finite given finite automata means first equation is q0 q0 then the second equation is based on q1 the second equation but q1 okay so there are two equations q0 and q1 okay now we'll always check here incoming transition we'll always check here what incoming transition this is very very important incoming incoming transition here yeah, incoming transition we will always check this is very very important point incoming transition okay first we will check here q0 first state is what q0 what is the incoming transition for q0 there are there are means there is no incoming transition for q0 there is no incoming transition for q0 okay there is no incoming, Q0 is the what? Initial state. By default, we have to write what? Epsilon is the initial. Means epsilon is the initial incoming transition or null incoming transition for Q0. Why it is epsilon? Because, because Q0 is the initial state. Every initial state, every initial state contains epsilon incoming transition every initial state contains again i am telling every initial state contains epsilon incoming transitions by default by default after that there is no incoming transitions okay now we'll see for q1 we'll check the incoming transition see one incoming transition part from q0 to q1 through a so that means q0a Q0 A plus. Plus means or. Is there any incoming transition? S. Yes. Again, there are two incoming transitions. A and B for Q1. But Q1 A. Q1 A plus. Q1 B. Q1 B. That means the same. From Q0, Q0 read A goes to Q1. That means Q1 equal to Q0A. Q1 read A goes to Q1. This is one more incoming transition. That means Q1A, Q1A. 
q1 read b goes to q1 this is one more incoming transition so q1 b q1 b this is very very simple so there are two states there are two equations okay now we'll solve the given equation how to solve this thing so here we'll solve the equation two here we'll solve the equation first two equation because q0 only q0 equals to epsilon now we'll solve the equation two here but q0 this is a here q1 is common here q1 is common on the left side so we'll take the common but q1 this is a plus a plus what p q1 a plus p now we'll apply the arrange theorem now we'll apply the arrange theorem how to apply the arrange theorem just say here what is the point here r equals to q plus rp what is the solution r equals to qp star now we'll check here this is q1 actually this is q1 which one is r just say this is r this is q this is r this is p okay just say r equals to q plus rp this is r r r means what q1 r means q1 here q means q0a p means a plus b q means a plus b okay so what is the solution the solution r equals to qp star now we'll find the solution here here r r means q1 r means q1 q1 equals to what q q means what q means q0 a what q0 a plus sorry sorry not plus actually q p star p means what a plus b whole star a plus b whole star okay so here this is r this is q and this is p so r equals to what q p star okay clear now so here now we'll solve the equation what is the meaning of q0 here what is the meaning of q0 q0 is epsilon now we'll replace now we'll put q0 equals to epsilon in the given equation in the given equation so we'll get what so q1 equals to what q0 equals to epsilon here epsilon a a plus b whole star so epsilon means we can also write what a a plus b whole star okay so now q0 equals to what is the value of q0 the value of q0 value equals to what epsilon what is the value of q1 a a plus b whole star so which one is the regular expression of the given finite automata q0 or this equation or this equation so remember one thing the regular expression is always based on the final state regular expression regular expression is always is always is always derived from finite auto, sorry final state is always derived from final final state okay so which one is the final state q1 is the final state q1 is the final set so so what is the solution here q0 or q1 will take because since q1 is the final state since q1 is the final state so what is the regular expression so this one is the regular expression so
So this one is the regular expression. Okay. <clears throat> In the next class, we'll discuss about one more example. Thanks for watching.